All right, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the TCL 10SE. This is a phone that can be got for $159 on Amazon. And uh, it's really a budget device, comes from Chinese manufacturer TCL. They're really known more for their displays, TVs, uh, high definition 4K televisions. Um, so I'm excited to kind of explore the screen on this. I'm hoping it's pretty good considering they're mainly a display manufacturer. Here's your box. Now for the sake of this, I have uh, actually opened up this and set it up so that we can go ahead and see what it's all about. I did that for the sake of making this a better video. So I actually have some data to show you. So you take off the box, you're greeted with the phone inside one of these kind of rubberized soft touch plastic bags. Go ahead and lift this out and uh, set it aside for the moment. Let's see what we have inside of here. It does come with a nice little uh, TPU case. There's no branding. Uh, some of the other TCL phones come with that display greatness logo on the case. This one does not, which is good. Uh, we do have a little Simajet tool. Um, that is a micro USB-C. Fantastic. Uh, it's a nice quality rubber. I think the flash is uh, better off there, so I'll keep that off. Uh, yeah, it feels like a nice quality. Here we have a uh, power adapter. Let's see. Uh, I'll put five volts, two amps. So not uh, anything particularly crazy, but uh, that'll be good enough to charge the 4,000 milliamp hour battery that's in this device. So let me set this box aside in the case and the SIM tool. And then uh, we'll come here to the phone itself. Go ahead and slip it out of its little pocket here. First impression is that that screen looks fantastic. Just being off, it looks really, really nice. Um, the back has kind of a soft touch uh, plastic to it. I at first thought this was a peel off protector, this mat, but uh, that is in fact part of the screen. You'll see kind of along the edge, there's a, uh, a shiny, uh, plastic part so I thought that you know that needed to be peeled off uh, there's your triple camera and your fingerprint scanner some TCL branding and then uh, that's it the bottom we have the uh, USB-C and the speakers now I think only one of those is actually a loudspeaker one's probably also a microphone there you can see your uh, front facing camera so, uh, let me zoom in just a little bit more here. Go ahead and turn on the device here. It's already powered up. I will go ahead and uh, demonstrate quickly how uh, quick this fingerprint scanner works. Just like that. Uh, pretty much as instant as any phone I've ever tried. Chinese phone manufacturers are known for that. Uh, let me make sure we're on full brightness here. I do have some app updates available, but those can wait. So now that we're in the UI, it's very nice Really quite a stock Android experience. As we swipe through, it's quick, there's no lag. Uh, we come up here to the app drawer, we can whip around. Whoops, I tapped on something there. We can whip through this. Uh, it really operates quite smoothly. Here we've got our notification shade. I do have dark mode enabled at the moment. Let's see if I can turn that off. Everything is in white now. So you can see it operates quite smoothly as we come over here to uh, YouTube TV, for example. Let's start a stream over here and uh, you can see how quickly it loads up. So quite, uh, quite, a smooth, quite a smooth program here. And this is running on my pretty poor quality, uh, only 25 megabyte per second down internet connection here. So no problems there. Um, I'll get rid of that. Come into YouTube Vance if you want to open a video really quickly there. Let's see how that loads. Little load time here. Honestly, that's probably because of my poor quality internet here in my apartment. So 
I'll let that uh, do its thing. Clock is good. Weather is nice. Uh, overall, a pretty smooth operating device. Got a little weather notification that just came in there. Let's take a quick look at the notification shade. Uh, it's asking me to add another fingerprint, which I'm not going to do at the moment. It does have this thing called NXT Vision, which could be um, considered a little bit of a gimmick, but it does have a black and white mode that's quite nice, and then some other visual enhancements that it automatically applies per your uh, content that you're watching. Um, if this is running Android 10, and um, it's running quite smoothly. Let's take a look at the camera here. Uh, that's facing down at the moment. There's a good look up at you in the camera there. You're being filmed on my S22 Plus. So here's your main camera. I uh, let that focus up. Let me zoom out up here on the S22. There's your main shooter. Here's your ultra wide. Um, ultra wide, to be honest with you, is not super great. The main 16 megapixel camera, though, is surprisingly good in daylight. Uh, it had quite nice colors, nothing too oversaturated, but not too muted either. It was quite well balanced, and the uh, dynamic range seemed pretty good. Zooming in on uh, photos for detail, also quite impressive. Pretty happy with it. So consider this really a single camera phone, a single 16 megapixel camera. The wide angle is kind of useless, and the third one is just some sort of depth sensor or something like that that really doesn't make a difference, unfortunately. But it does have two flashes, which I found actually to be quite useful. Uh, so you get dual flashlight, quite bright, quite nice. I'd recommend this phone overall. I did throw my SIM in this for a couple days and I used it. Call quality was fantastic. Um, I did get Wi-Fi calling and everything was really, really nice and smooth. Um, one final thing that I am really, really a fan of that I wanted to share is, let's see if I can find it here. There it is, the FM radio. Uh, it does want headphones to be inserted for an antenna, but this is like the old Samsung phones from back in the day when they came with the FM radio included. And I thought that was always a great feature and I'm really, really excited to see that here. I might actually use this to uh, play some radio in my office where I don't have a traditional FM radio, uh, but now I have this. And the quality was fantastic during my test. So um, there's a quick look at that TCL 10 SE. Really, really a nice phone, does have a headphone jack. Uh, for 159 bucks, it's really, really, really hard to argue against. Um, you know, you have to keep in mind, it's not gonna be perfect at that price point, but I really can't find anything major to nitpick. Uh, one other note, it does have a button there for your Google Assistant, power and volume rocker. So really a great phone. I'd recommend it if you're in the market for a phone up under 160-ish dollars. Um, traditionally, those phones are garbage, but this one's actually not does have micro SD card expansion, and it's quite a good phone. So if you have any questions, post them down below. Thanks.